for all the fans of savage political moments in presidential debates and maybe even fans of Dick Cheney and Three Inch Heels, welcome to another episode of Pounds Firearms. Today we have a treat for you guys. We had one of our viewers, as always we'll keep him anonymous, uh, his name is That Guy, um, decided to go and send us in a pistol. He tells us like, hey, I have this pistol I built three years ago. I never gotten to shoot it. You want to use it? I was like, heck yeah. And to my surprise, I had no idea it was an AR pistol. So it is an AR pistol. It takes uh, Glock mags. I went ahead and dumped out his self-defense rounds in here. We don't need that. I'm going to close this guy up and slide it on over. Well, I'm knocking stuff around. It looks like already first thing. But yeah, so this is it here. So I don't, uh, other than knowing that it shoots Glock mags and it's 9 millimeter and that it was freshly built, I don't know anything about it here. So we'll just quickly uh, do a review of what we see. It looks like it does have an SB, uh, SB tactical brace. It's probably five positions. I didn't ever counted them out, but it doesn't really matter. We got a single-sided safety, full 90-degree throw. Looks like it's got a Magpul hand grip with... The whole little cover in here, there's nothing in there. Um, looks like it's a mil spec trigger, I'm guessing. We'll find out here in a second. This is a lower from KE Arms, never heard of them, but it looks like they're doing a pretty decent um, uh, the sun here. Uh, but it's got you know, uh, extended or expanded mag well there. Um, it does take lock mags, like I said, and yeah, it does have a dual uh, magazine release. So there's one on the left. Typical one on the right. It is only a single sided bolt release and bolt catch. So it's only on one side. It does have a Ambi uh, Radi, um, Raptor, Ra Radian Raptor charging handle. It is Ambi and it looks like it's extended too. Um, love the Raptors there. Uh, it does have a Hollow Sun 510. This is the um, version that's got the solar panel on, it, panel on it. This is the green version. It's got the three optics, uh, three reticles on it. It's got the, the two MOA dot with the 65 MOA circle. You can do just the dot or just the circle. So those are the three on there. Uh, it does have auto on, auto, auto off functions, uh, auto dimming, and of course manual dimming here. So I uh, played around that a little bit yesterday. I've never had a hollow sun here before. So um, interested to see the hollow sun. It does have a Midwest Industries front hand guard. It looks like it's got some ambi, or excuse me, some uh, quick disconnect sling mounts on the front. Uh, two of them on the front, uh, one in the back it looks like, and then one on either side of the stock. The let's see, this is a JP nine millimeter conversion. Looks like. Let's see if we can get a close up of that JP. I did do a quick Google search on it, and they're uh, sounds like they're pretty decent. Uh, this is the stainless steel version, obviously. It is supposed to lock open when uh, on, on the last last round. Uh, I don't know anything about nine millimeter ARs. I guess maybe that's not very common. Um, yeah, so it looks like I don't know. I'm guessing maybe an eight inch barrel. Yeah, we'll call that eight inch because it stops right here, and then it's got about a two and a half inch, maybe three inch blast deflector. Um, yeah, this is a awesome looking little package here. So this Hollister does come with its own version of a quick release. Um, yeah, we'll test that out. We'll see if we can unmount it and uh, remount it and see how this, uh, if it holds zeros or not. But yeah, let's quickly take this whole thing apart here. I didn't really check it with you guys, but she's clear. Uh, we'll go ahead and empty or open this up. Let's see here. Just trying to read what's on the tr on the hammer here. Um, not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's got some factory grease on here still, so open this up. Nice, shiny JP bolt. So a little bit different than an AR bolt. I don't know anything about them here. Um, looks like there is a pin that holds the, um, the firing pin in, or a cotter pin that holds the firing pin in. Other than that, it's uh, just a mock key here because it's not, it looks like it's blowback. There's no gas tube or anything coming out of this thing. Um, other than that, it looks pretty basic. I don't know what buffer tube is in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, it's a little bit different than a normal AR buffer. I don't know anything about these. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Looks like there's some sort of screw in there that holds this in. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but we're going to find out here. Uh, looks like a mil spec trigger. 
yeah all right well we uh we did a quick rundown of this thing here the main thing about this is this thing is virgin it's never been shot um don't know if it shoots so we're gonna start off slow here we're gonna go ahead and put one round inside the magazine fire it off probably keep it away from my face um fire it off see what happens and then go from there so uh, hopefully we'll put like 200 rounds or so we'll see how the day goes but i like to try to put 200 rounds through it and uh break her in for that guy and we'll see how the optics doing we'll zero it in if it's not um if it's not zeroed already and yeah well that's enough blabbing here so let's go and zoom in on the range and we'll see what we can what kind of fun we can have here so come follow me here all right we're at the range Got it all greased up here, leaking everywhere, so I'll probably put too much, but it doesn't hurt anything. Remember, this thing's never been fired, so it's probably not zeroed, so we're going to go ahead and uh, work on the zero here. Got some uh, juices flowing everywhere. All right, so because it's never been fired, and I didn't uh, build this, I'm going to do one round. Just do one round. So... Let's see how this goes. Uh, I got a box of ammo here. Rack the sucker up. Uh, we'll see if we can hit steel. I don't think we can, but we'll try it. Did not lock open. I thought uh, when I was reading about this JP bolts, I should have locked open here, but yeah, there we go. Well, it fired. First round ever through this gun. Thank you to that guy for sending it on in. Sure. Try that here. All right. I think we're charged here. Safety. Cool. It hit those five fine. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this thing is running pretty good, so I'll fast forward the video real quick. We'll get 33 through here. We'll see if we can zero it in right over there. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll try to zero that in. Be right back. All right, so we're back. So these are our home loads, and we got those pretty spicy. So what I went ahead and did just uh, just to make sure here. Just got some cheap blazers. We're gonna run to some of these guys here. That oh, looks like I've already ran some. So we're running some uh, some blazers through here. I didn't bring my ETS speed loader because it's about three right in the middle here. One. Two. Right center again. Three. Sun's getting brutal, it's starting to set. One. Two. Three. 50 is right about here. Let's just see if we can hit some steel at 50 here. That was steel. I think I hit the little one. We'll go back to the big silhouette here in the middle. Those are hitting. Yeah, I don't think that's half bad. I think that's six inch uh, steel here around. Having the solo, I'm not hitting the the steel. Well, let's get down on a knee here. Let's even brace ourselves. We're gonna go dead center. Dead center. Let's see. Well, this isn't being any extra bracy here. Oh wow. I don't even think I hit the paper on that one. That was my bad. Range. 
back at 50 yards. So you can see uh, this tire track right here is about 50 yards. I brought a bag this time. We're gonna see if we can zero that in. Now, All right, uh, here we go. Let's see if we can do a couple in the middle here. God, it's really hard to see the middle now with the sun setting. Of course, there's a big shadow right there. Uh-oh, there goes my target. Can we hit the six-incher? Oh, and we're dead. All right, first 30 rounds. I think I found my problem. Well. <laughs> Looks like I'm still hitting up here. And that's where my nail was. So I think I shot my nail off. Here. Let's see, can we hit steel? Solo in the middle. It hit. Can we hit the six inch round? Nope, no idea where those are going. Let me get the aim at the head of the solo at. Oh, we might be low here. Oh yeah, we're a little low, there we go. I put the dot right in the bottom edge of the six inch. Smacked it again. I oh, missed that one. Huh, all right. Where do you go left here? Oh, we got 10 rounds left. All right, well, let's go back to our paper target. Aim dead center here. I got both knees. Don't tell anybody, okay? <sighs> All right, baby, I'm on one knee. <sighs> one thing I don't like about this 510, it's hollows in 510, is this is a little tint on the glass. And if I one eye it, which you're not even supposed to, but if you one eye it, you can barely see the red dot in the middle of the target. My two eye, I see just fine. Oh, that may have been left. That was me. Fuck it, we'll do five. All right, let's see. Six inch circle. Hey, we got a dinger. I'll miss the next two after that. All right, let's go back over to the last handful of whatever these were, blazers. Let me hit it standing up here. Six inch dinger. Solo what? I'm never hitting the six inch standing up. Hey, I think this thing is zeroed up and zeroed enough. So we hit the can. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the, uh, the brace. So we smack that can. Hey, smoked it. All right, let's just dump it into the six inch here. Cool. All right. Well, that guy. This thing's fun. We're about what 90 rounds into it. All right. So we got another solo. I can't really see it because the glass is so tall. Let's see here. Smacked it. They were supposed to be. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the target. All right. Let's see if we can do the middle. Oh, that's right. That's five. I mean, I'm hitting a six inch silhouette. Let's see. 
Gonna hit it when I'm walking, probably not. That one. Hit that one. Especially when there's grass everywhere, we stay still. All right, let's just see if we can dump it into this silhouette here. Little we'll spec trigger goes pretty fast. Losing daylight, so we'll see. See if I put some middle red circle. Uh oh, that was me. Far right one's me. I'm gonna do one more. Can't see the red or the dot on the target anymore, but hit the six inch. Let me hit a couple more walking up here. This is middle silhouette. Let's see if we can close this out here. One more because that was left. Turns out. All right, let's see. Let's see. Six inch. So what? Let's see. It's possible to see the bullseye now. Six inch. Ooh, big dump here. Six incher. All right. So what? All right. I have to stop now. Yeah, there goes the hip walking. Alright, see if we can close this thing out here. We backed up to, I don't know, we got 75 yards or so, 70 yards. But hey, this thing has been fun. Um, yeah, this thing's awesome. Never shot an AR 9mm before. This thing's ran flawless. It's done home loads. It's done, um, um, Gosh, blazer ammunition. We got a zero in at 50. So that guy you should be able to hit stuff from 10 yards away if you want. But yeah. All right, I think what we'll go ahead and do is see if we can close this sucker out here. It's pretty filthy in there. I wanna see I wanna see what it looks like. So let's go back to the table. And let's clean this sucker out and see what it looks like. See you guys back at the table. All 
All right, guys, welcome back. Man, that was actually a lot of fun. Um, never shot an AR 9mm before, so that was pretty cool. Now we got the thing nice and dirty. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a quick inspection here after we put in, I think uh, I think I did the math, I did about 200 rounds through it. Did about 200 rounds, so let's see, uh, let's see how it looks like here. Start with the after handle here I'm gonna grab a rag see how much junk gets on this here you know fair amount shoot, shoot shot 200 rounds had some spicy loads in there yeah okay well let's see the front of this thing yeah we got some powder on the front of this thing so this whole thing is normally stainless. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look at that, wiping right off. So yeah, she got a, she got some filth on her. But stainless, it just comes right off. Oh uh, yeah, we might have to do a, get a good cleaning technique going here. But, yeah, I don't know if this is necessarily going to be a cleaning video. I was just gonna take a look at it here. So we'll just give her a quick wipe down. Kind of see, yeah. So all this was caked, or not caked, but um, dirty. Yeah, it wasn't. It uh, wasn't stainless in the front. All right. Don't make fun of me. That's easiest way to clean the back of this. Cool. Got our ducks squawking over there. I think what we'll do is, uh, yeah, I'll do a cleaning video outside of this here and get it all nice and cleaned up. But yeah, yeah, so I think it had some fun here. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out. The firing pin, let's take a look at that here. See if my fat fingers can fit it. Ooh, it got it out. I mean, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It had a little dirt on it or a little um, carbon on it, but it wasn't horrible. Um, never looked at this firing pin before, so that's kind of interesting. Whoa, we're losing it here. Don't lose that spring. Yeah, the spring, it looks like the spring is built into the firing pin. That's kind of interesting. Didn't know that. Cool, put that spring back on. All right, we'll show this, uh, you know what, I'll just give it a quick wipe down inside of here. All right, let's put this thing back in here. There we go, now we're in there. Yeah, now we're in there. Cool, there we go, so we got her uh, back to shiny. Looking good. Let's see the magazine. The magazine got a little carbon on it, but that's fine. Cool. All right, well, there we go, guys. Hopefully you had fun watching this video. Sorry for the sun. It's uh, that time of day where things are going up and down here. So um, yes, that was a blast. Thank you, that guy, for letting the channel review this here. Um, this thing is a blast. It works. It worked fine. Not a single jam. We were doing uh, cheap uh, store-bought ammo. We were doing hot home loads. And yeah, this thing was chewing them up like a champ. Um, the only thing I didn't see was it didn't lock open. I thought these JP bolts were supposed to have some sort of, maybe this is a different version. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But I thought they were supposed to have uh, an option that were locks open for us here. Let's check function. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. This is Pound for Pound's Firearms. Signing off.